Hello everyone, this is Relationships 101 with women. And you can see I have a gorgeous woman here with me, a gorgeous lady by name Mayowa. And she being a single lady, I want to ask her just a question. Mayowa, yes. what do you think is the benefit or do you believe that there is a benefit being single? Yes, I actually do. And I think more recently, I'm actually very happy. I thank God that I am single. I have seen the purpose and the reasons why I've, I have been a perpetual single person. Um, so it, in answer to your questions, uh, one of the benefits of being single is can be identified even um, by looking at the opposite of you know if you're not single if you do have people in your life where yeah. you know they influence what you your decisions are so one of the main benefit for me is being able to make my own decisions and um not in affecting anybody in a, in a negative way or having to find or go to somebody else where i have to clarify my own um thoughts or ideas with without um with the ultimate decision being made by maybe somebody else, not me. So, and I sh I'm sure for those that have us, but not that it's it's good to have somebody that you can right. relate your um your thoughts with. But ultimately, the decision for me is just me that makes that decision. So that's empowering. So I think as a single person, I am empowered by being able to make my own decisions, do the things I want to do, and have sound mind and you know, be able to judge things myself without having the um, challenge of, you know, I need to relate this with my husband or I need to relate this with somebody. It's a, it's, it could be a good thing, but I think that's one of the advantages that we should look at, that as a single person, I'm not burdening anybody and nobody's burdening me with my decisions in life. So um, that's number one benefit for me. Okay, so you heard it. If you are single... It's not the end of the world. And in fact, it is beneficial sometimes for you to be single because you don't have to relate with somebody to make some decisions or to look for somebody's acceptance before you go on with ideas that come to your head. Yeah. So, Mayowa, do you have any other reason or any other benefit of being single? Yes. You mentioned one. Maybe yes. you have another benefit. Yes, there are lots of benefits. But right. um, again, another benefit would be being able to move around, travel and go to places that I want to go to. You know, um, luckily for me, um, also as well as being single, as in, as in not being with a partner, I also don't have any children yet. Mm. And with that um, is another benefit, which is if I want to go somewhere, I don't have to wait for children, uh, school breaks, um, I don't have to um, use them as excuse that, oh, the reason I can't do this is because, you know, I have these children and they've got school. No, you know, I really don't want women that do have this to um, kind of feel like I'm trying to play them down. They're doing a great job and that's good. But for me as a single person, it's also good for me that I can move around. I can do other things before the marriage and the children comes along. You know, I can go to any country that I want to go to. Um, I, I can be of use outside of the community where my husband and my children are. You know, I can be of better use, you know, going different places. I can also learn. You know, it's not just about me, you know, shining my light in other places. Also allowing other places and other um, influences to shine their light on, on me as well. So currently... I'm in Ukraine. I, you know, I, if a couple of weeks ago I was in London. So, you know, if I want to go somewhere else, I can go. I don't have to worry about husband and children. So, you know, single ladies, don't be so down on yourself about right. being single and, you know, not having a partner. This is an opportunity for you to be who you're supposed to be, for you to explore, for you to, to um, also develop yourself, to know more so that when you do get into marriage and you get into... Uh, you become a mother, uh, a wife and a mother, you have something, you have wealth, you have um, the knowledge to share, experiences to give them, to share with them. And, you know, um, you have you have value, you, you know, you have richness in your life. 
So there are lots of, lots of advantages uh, to being single. And that's just the first two that came to mind now. So if you are single, if you don't have babies yet, you have great advantages. So use that time, the time that there's no one pulling your skirt and say, mommy, give me this, mommy, don't give me that. Or waiting for your man to come back home to, you know, make decisions that you are supposed to do or even pursue your calling as a person. You have now that great advantage of being single, of not having wagons. As I say, in my own case, I have three children and I have a husband. But thank God that he is one that allows me to do what I'm called to do. But if you are single, believe me, it's an advantage and it's the time for you to be swift and fast with what you're doing. You know, because it will always be like this. Unless actually you are like Paul that decide to be single forever. So this is all we have for you today. I hope we encouraged all the single ladies out there that are crying. Why me? Why? Why God? Why? Why am I still single? So you have things to do. Pursue your calling while single. And if the husband comes, good. If he doesn't come, also good. So. Here again, I am Nikki and this is Mayowa. Hello. Thank you for joining us Bye. today and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.